Hello everyone, welcome to the in new series of Drishti IS. I am Ritu and today we are going to discuss an important topic of polity and GS2 which is India that is Bharat. So in the recent past we have seen that there is so much controversy around the naming of this country which is India and Bharat. So what the constitution say? So in the constitution article 1 says that India that is Bharat shall be the union of the states. So, if it's written in Indian constitution, the both word has been written in Indian constitution, then what is the controversy about? So, in today's class, we are going to discuss about the controversy related to India and Bharat. So, moving to the points of discussion part. So, first of all, we are going to discuss the news and its relevance from exams perspective and then debates around Bharat and India and then we are going to discuss about ancient references of Bharat and then what is the Ambedkar stand on it? And then we are going to discuss about the current status of supreme stance, like what they have thought about the India and Bharat. And then we are going to discuss about the history of naming of India or Hindustan. And then we are also going to discuss practice question for prelims and mains. So moving to the news part. So we all know that, you know, G20 delegates are invited in New Delhi. And you know, the government of India has invited them on the dinner on the behalf of the president of Bharat, not the president of India. So this thing has created so much controversy among the opposition leaders and so many opposition leaders said that, you know, they are using the Bharat term because the opposition alliance is called as India and they are emphasizing the term Bharat because they want to Hinduize the whole nation. So these are the allegations by the opposition. So because of this, there is so much of controversy around the naming of India as Bharat. But in Indian constitution, in article 1, the both term has been used. So, this is the controversy about. So, moving to the next slide. So, next slide is about what are the debates around Bharat and India. So, this debate is pre-constitutional and we can say that, you know, the when the constitution was implemented. So, it has been implemented in November 1949 and before that, this debate was there in constituent assembly. So, when it first started. So, it first started on November 17, 1948. But on the suggestion of Govind Ballapan, this has been postponed. And uh, on September 17, 1949, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar presented this thing. And the version says that, you know, India, that is Bharat. It means that, you know, he has used both the terms, India and Bharat. But so many members of the Constituent Assembly has created controversy around it. And they said, you know, that India should not be used in Indian constitution. So, moving to the next slide. So, what others have said? So, Seth Govind Das, who was from the Jabalpur, preferred that Bharat should be named as this country. It means that this country should be named or known as Bharat. On the other hand, he also says that, you know, that the term India is a translation of the Bharat. It means that India is just a translation. It can't be named. On the other hand, what Hari Vishnu Kamat said that, you know, he says that, you know, this is also the translation of the Bharat. He has the similar opinion. And uh, he also said that, I don't know why people are so much attached to this word India because India suggests the colonial origin and colonial past. Then why so many people are attached toward this word? On the other hand, he also referred the Irish constitution and, and it says that, you know, Indian constitution should be read in the language of Irish constitution. And what the Irish constitution read? The name of the state is Ayer or in the English language it is called as Ireland. It means that you know the Kamath wanted that name of the state is Bharat or in the English language India. So this is the opinion of Kamath. What Har Gobind Pant says, so Har Gobind Pant was the representative from the hilly area of the United Province. So he said that uh, the people from the northern plains and northern India wanted that Bharat word should be named as this country. On the other hand, the Perth argued that, you know, I don't know that why people are so much attacked with this name and colonial name and the colonial origin of this, the term India. So, these are the debates around this India and Bharat. So, what is the ancient reference of the Bharat? So, while Das argued that, you know, Vishnu Puran and Brahm Puran mentioned the term Bharat and he further also says that Chinese traveler Wensang had referred this country as a Bharat. It means that Bharat has the ancient origin. And on the other hand, he also said that, you know, if we will keep this country or known this country as a Bharat, it means that, you know, we are not going backward. And the naming of this country as a Bharat is not uh, preventing us to marching forward. It means that if we will name this country as a Bharat, 
it will not prevent our development and we will be as developed like other nations so it has nothing to do with the modernity and it has nothing to do with the development so this is the opinion by several members of the constituent assembly on the other hand he also said that you know bharat or bharat varsh or bharat bhumi as a possible name of this country so so many people have you know this notion that you know india is of the colonial origin and colonial and britishers have used this term so name of this country should be the bharat there should not be india so these are the debates around this bharat and india and these are the debates who were pre constitution in the nature and in the today's time we can see that there is so much controversy around india and bharat so moving to the next slide so next slide is about ambedkar's refrain as we all know that you know ambedkar is known as a creator of this constitution and ambedkar has given the constitution to the whole nation so what is the opinion of ambedkar on this so ambedkar says that you know he has used both the term india and bharat and so many people have nothing objection with the india and bharat and so many people have objected that you know india should not be there but ambedkar said that this all the debates are very unnecessary in nature if we have used both the terms and we are not just creating india here we are not just creating bharat here it's on the people of this country that what they want to choose they want to call this nation as a bharat they can call it and if they want to call this nation as a india they can call it and it is very unnecessary to debate on the civilization thing because they have used the word bharat if the bharat has been not included in the indian constitution then it can be debate on the civilization that we have not taken care of the civilization but we have already taken care of the civilization and we have also taken care of the india so this is the opinion of the ambedkar regarding this thing so moving to the next slide so what the next slide says that what is the supreme court stance on this so this debate and pil has been erupted in 2016 and there was a pil fine in supreme court and supreme court has said that you know you can use bharat or india both word as interchangeably it means that if any citizen of this country wants to call this nation as a india he or she is free to call or if any citizen of this country wants to call this nation as bharat he or she is free to call it so this is the supreme court stance and we can call this nation as bharat or as india so moving to the next slide so what the next slide says that what about india and hindustan so this country is known by several names like aryavarth bharat words so what is the origin of the naming of bharat and this hindustan and this india so there is a popular narrative by historians and philologists so they said that you know there is a popular narrative present in indian society it means that you know the son of shakuntala and dushyant is known as bharat and on the name of bharat this country is known as bharat so this is a popular narrative present in indian society and which historians has cited about this kind of the narrative so but it can't be true it can be one of the narratives so we don't have you know factual evidence to support this thing but this is a narrative present in our indian society on the other hand what is the reason and what is the history behind the naming of hindustan because there was a area which is called as sindhu and by sindhu the people of persian origin called it as indo and by indo it has become hindu and from hindu it has become hindustan so from there it has become hindustan and in medieval time this term was very famous but this term started losing its significance when the british arrived this country and they had used the term india because why they have used this term india uh, because they wanted to show the monopoly to the world that they have monopoly over india and india constitute a single bounded territory in which they rule so this term has been used in various surveys various documents and various official documents of the british india that's why this term has been used by the britishers so there is so much controversy around it that you know india is of the british origin so it should not be name of this country so moving to the next slide so what next slide says that article 1 of the indian constitution deals with so this is the practice question for prelims and what are the options union of states fundamental rights fundamental duties and hindi language so you have to answer this in the comment section coming to the what is the rationale behind renaming places in india discuss the challenges associated with it so we have seen that you know in the past so many cities name has been changed so you have to write a brief background of that how many cities name has been changed so first of all you can write about the mughal sarai prayagraj 
अलाहाबाद केरल केरलम बेंगलुरु बेंगलुरु तो यू कैन राइट सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स इन योर इंट्रोडक्टरी बैकग्राउंड एंड देन कमिंग टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग दैट what is the rationale behind the naming of the such places so first of all you know india is a developing country and it is expanding in its cities population so they wanted to influence the cities population so that's why they are changing this name so this can be one of the reason the second thing is that you know glory of the nation so by renaming the places of any nation they wanted to show the people that they still remember the glory of the nation and whatever the name they have done from the ancient origin shows the glory and the sacrifices of this nation on the other hand you can also show that there can be a communal and political region just like in the uttar pradesh the faizabad district is known as ayodhya so so many opposition leaders are saying that you know it is a very communal in nature or political in nature so because of the political and economic reasons the naming of the places is changed so this is the rational behind the naming of the places what is the third part of this question says that discuss the challenges associated with it so the first challenge is that economic challenge because if you will rename a city or any place it will change on official document just like that mughal saray has been changed as a din dayal upadhyay junction so it will be changed in the official document so it will have a economic impact and economic cost because all the official documents will be changed on the other hand the second thing is that you know there are so many challenges the country can be divided because uh, prayagraj is also known as allahabad and the people of prayagraj still call the city as allahabad so you can change the name of the city but there is a tangible difference so it is only on the paper but it is not in the hearts of the people so this is also the challenges associated with this thing the second thing is that it creates communal problems because so many people says that you know the naming of prayagraj is very what you can say hinduized in nature and so many people said that allahabad is a islamic name or a muslim name so it can also create uh, political problems and communal problems in the society so these are the challenges associated with this renaming of the places so i hope you like this lecture if you have any questions related to this lecture kindly ask in the comment section thank you